a little baby boy. My grandma bought me a cute little toy. <laughs> Silver bells hanging on a string. She told me it was my ding a ling a ling. What the fuck? Ding a ling. Ding a ling. What's my ding a ling a ling? Catch me playing with mine. <laughs> <laughs> All hail the beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. In today's video, we're discussing the 2018 release of a new niche fragrance house. It's presented to you by Chris Collins, and the house is called Alchemy of Fragrance. So Chris reached out to me back in mid-December, giving me the basics of his line, and wanted to know if I was interested in giving it a try. So many of you guys out there may not be aware, but I get approached with, you know, people wanting to present stuff to me for you guys all the time, many of which I turn down, even some of the paid ones. If it doesn't bring value to you guys, then I tend to ignore it or, you know, politely write them back when I have time of explaining why we can't do business. So with that stated, I reviewed uh, Chris's backstory, checked his website, and decided I'd give it a try. So Chris sent me his discovery scent with the three fragrances he was releasing, and I kind of told him the ones I liked. I requested two of them because I wasn't feeling the third one, and those two that I was really feeling was Daunt Savage and Harlem Nights. Now aside from reading about his relationship with Killian Hennessy, one of the things that truly attracted me to his fragrance was his backstory. The fragrances that he was releasing was with the Daunt Savage, the Renaissance Man, and Harlem Nights all put me in the mind state of the Harlem Renaissance. Now I won't sit here and lecture you guys about the Harlem Renaissance even though this would be the great time to do it because it's Black History Month, but I digress. Nonetheless, after further research, it appears to me at least that most of these fragrances do pay homage to the Harlem Renaissance era. You know, back in the 1920s when there was a lot of artistic expression in the Afro-American community. So the fragrance that we're gonna really be discussing today is Daunt Sauvage, which pays homage to Josephine Baker. And if you guys aren't familiar with Josephine Baker, she was the first uh, black, you know, worldwide entertainer. She kind of renounced her American citizenship back in the day, you know, moved to France and said, hey, watch me that, watch me what? And what me nay nay? But I know you guys are tired of the history lesson. So without any further ado, here is your official presentation for both the bottle and the box. Now listen. This box is actually high quality. I like it. I'm not sure what they did with it. Um, but you got like some matte stuff, rose gold. It's dope. It's kind of... You guys don't care about the box. Like, if you, if you buy it, you check the box out yourself. But it's not what we're here for today. The bottle presentation is pretty simplistic. It has like a minimalist approach to it. But it's heavy. Top is nice and heavy as well. Great quality bottle. Great quality product overall. And how is this juice? Let's talk about it. Now when I spray this, this one actually opens up with a bit of spice and a bit of booze. And trust me, this one is a beautiful scent. To me, some of the key players in this fragrance is saffron and cognac in the top. There's also some black pepper and chili, which allows that spice that I talked about to continue throughout the life of the fragrance. In the base of the fragrance, you got some cedar wood and vanilla, which allows this fragrance to be masculine and seductive at the same time. I mean, all things considered, when I look at the fragrance and actually the entire fragrance line, everything about this just screams luxury. Now, I Obviously, the most important aspect of the fragrance is the actual fragrance. But when I look at, again, the bottle presentation, when I look at the box presentation, the minimalistic approach, and, you know, I'm sure there's some time and quality that went into the development of this, even though it looks minimal. Um, it's really high quality. It's really luxury. When I look at, you know, the other luxury fragrances out there, when I look at, you know, your Tom Fords, and I look at your Killians, those presentations of the actual bottle, they're elegant, but they're simple at the same time. Some other great things about this fragrance is, although this fragrance projects, it's not loud. Now, think about fragrances that project and they're loud. Like, you know, something like one million is going to project, but it's loud. This one projects, but it's subdued, you know, it's refined and it's sensual, which allows this fragrance to really be seductive without being too feminine. This one and all the other fragrances in his lineup are EDP concentration. And in my personal opinion, they are well worth the 160 that you would pay for it. Now, I haven't had much experience with this fragrance. I have worn it a few times. And in the times that I have worn it, again, I've gone at compliments. They've been subtle compliments, but compliments nonetheless. I mean, the compliments were there. Nothing too crazy. It wasn't like, ah, oh my God, oh my God, I'm gonna eat you. Ah! It's 
nothing like that. But just like, hey man, you smell like money. You smell good. You always walking in here smelling good. You know, those type of compliments. And that's what you're looking for in a fragrance like this. It's seductive, it's subdued, it's relaxed, it's laid back, but yet, this one can be worn in many type of environments, man. If you want to dress up, wear it to the office. I can see this one being a signature scent. I really enjoy this fragrance. I will be wearing this one a lot more, especially this month, man. You know, this month, you know, with the, the theme behind this one, at least the theme of my head that you went with on this one, I think um, I'm going to be wearing this a lot this month. In my words, I got about six hours of longevity. Um, I think it's okay for EDP. It's nothing too crazy. You know, I'm not getting 12, 13 hours with it. I don't know if it's the heat or just, you know, how it performs on my skin. You know, I don't have much to compare it to, but this one is about six hours of longevity, and, and that's enough to get you through most work days. So all in all, I enjoy this fragrance and the other one that I was speaking to you guys about in the additional review, which is Harlem Nights. So I'm excited to see where this line goes. And some of you guys out there may recall, I posted a picture on my Snapchat. You guys are like, who is this random person on the Snapchat? But uh, <laughs> I posted a picture on my Snapchat of a meet and greet, you know, for the fragrance that he was doing out in Los Angeles. Hopefully some of you guys were able to make it. You know, obviously I wasn't, but I wanted to make sure that you guys were well aware I said this guy is making some amazing fragrances what he is so comment below let me know if you guys have tried this have you seen this discovery scent sample pack anywhere did you make it to his event out there in Los Angeles let me know I'm your boy big big B don't forget to like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend and we back again and do me a favor hit that goddamn bell like ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling.